You just got yourself the Elgato 4KS and your gameplay is not quite looking like this. It may be looking a little bit more like this, kind of washed out. I'm going to take you step by step on how to fix this and get your gameplay looking exactly like mine right here. All right, after you have your scene set up and you've got all of your different sources in, you're going to right click on gameplay and you're going to select filters. From here, you are going to scroll down to where it says effect filters and you're going to hit the plus button and that will bring up color correction. Once you have color correction open, you're going to be given a number of sliders that you can adjust your gameplay. Now, this isn't a plug and play scenario. I can't just give you my settings and then it's going to work for you. It's going to depend on where you have your HDR set up on your console and the way that your monitor looks and how you want your gameplay to look. It's not just plug and play, unfortunately. So you're going to make minor adjustments to first your brightness and your contrast. And I've seen some other pictures from some other creators and the gamma can come down just, just a bit. So gamma can come down, contrast can go down. I, basically I've moved almost everything down and that has darkened my image to where I like what it looks like. And it's what you're seeing right here. So I don't mess with the hue shift saturation. If your colors aren't quite as bright as you want, then you can um, bump the saturation up. If they're too, too bright, you can take it down. But again, it's it's going to be very minor, minor changes. OK, so don't do anything too drastic. And once you get it how you want it, just close it and leave it there. You're good to go. Your gameplay will now look like it does on your monitor, which is exactly what I'm seeing on my screen. And I, I could not be happier. It may just be a minor thing, maybe not something you're super worried about. If you found this video, I'm guessing it did bother you. If you got any questions, if you're wondering what settings you might need to uh, select, don't hesitate to ask. I will be reading every comment and I'll try to help as many of you as possible. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.